Hello, I'm John Lindells of Core Philosophy. Today we're going to talk about single straight leg stretch. Whether you're a new teacher and here to review and dig a little bit deeper into the exercises or whether you're here to get a, more of an explanation on the exercises that you're doing for your own practice, I'm glad you're here. So for single straight leg stretch, it is an intermediate exercise and it comes after uh, double leg stretch or single leg stretch and double leg stretch and then you've got single straight leg stretch also known as scissors um, I think there's other names for it too but so you're gonna be in your ab curl or your C curl C curve um, starting with your upper body all the way up your legs are gonna be up as well and you're gonna have one leg reaching up to the ceiling and one leg reaching out and down so this leg that's hanging out lowering down you want to keep control of it. When you use your glute and hamstring so that you have control of that leg against gravity, it's not just hanging out there flopping down and um, doing its own thing. You want to keep some connection in that leg. Hands are going to be as high up on your leg as feels comfortable, but not behind your knee. I want you to pull in that joint. Collarbones are open, so you've got that arm and back connection. If you need a little bit more tips on the arm and back connection, you're going to hop over to my website. You're going to stay here. You're going to inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. Let's reach, reach, and switch. Reach, reach, and switch. To make this one harder, you're gonna bring your arms down by your sides, reaching through both legs. You can also give yourself some support with your arms, hands behind your head without locking your fingers, or bring yourself up on a wedge or arc barrel to just take the upper body, or just take the arms out of it and give yourself a little support and just do legs. All right, so. Let me know if you have any questions. That's the only modifications is to either take your, you should bring your upper body out of it and just do legs. If you have someone who's really tight in their hamstrings, you can bend both knees a little bit. Also to make it harder, you're just gonna bring your hands down by your sides. So that's about it for that one. Let me know if you have any questions um, in the comments. And like I said, if you are looking for a little bit more ways to find connection in your arm and back connection to help you with push-ups, help you keep out of your wrists and your neck, hop over to the website for that free tutorial. And there's also lots of classes, either on-demand classes and live stream classes that you can do from wherever you are. And that's corephilosophypilates.com. I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.